All right, it's uh, Tuesday afternoon. I'm running a little late. I've had a lot of things going on today. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to get this third horse in here, and I like try to decide whether to put him in here. And I kind of like the idea of that, but I also kind of like that. Let's move this uh, piece of wood out of the way. I kind of like the idea of a, another horse here, but I think that's too, well, it's, it's too straight on, too level. I like the extra height. Maybe you have a horse rearing <coughs> up here and uh, maybe trying to avoid one of the horses or something. I don't know, but uh, that's what I'm going to work on today and as for as long as I can, and uh, then I'll, well, I'll be right back. Time to play with some play. All right, I've got to put the, uh, get the joint for the front leg measured out both front legs because I'm going to have the uh, legs bent. Let me show you what I'm thinking of putting my horse in the position of. Something like that black horse right there. Uh, that, the, uh, this one here. I, I kind of like that position and I kind of like the fact he's rearing up and I we need something to create action in this uh, piece and I think that'd be a good position for it and I've got my magic marker to mark where the joint is now the shoulder of the horse is very flexible in this way and the reason why is because it's only connected to the rib cage and the backbone by muscle there's no joint that connects it to the main body of the horse. It's just, it's very flexible. All right. Got too many legs going all over the place here. And let's see. Now I cover all this very heavily in uh, my instructional video on creating a horse and uh, from scratch and uh, several other videos. Let me uh, be right back. So I'm gonna put this horse in here like this. Maybe back a little further. bring it up to about here and maybe have his head and neck going over like that yeah I kind of like that I know it's hard for you to see but what I'm doing is just working out exactly how I'm going to mount this all right, I'll be right back. I've been slowed down quite a bit because my reciproc reciprocating saw ran out of battery juice, so I had to saw this crosswise this way and then the full length of this, and that took me a while. I'm not that in that good a shape that I was able to whip that out in a heartbeat. That was a tough one. Anyway, I'm just get, attaching the extension this is an extension here to, uh, so I can attach this horse here. Ah, got it. I like impact drills, but I always feel like that noise is the noise I used to make when the, my other drill used to slip on a screw. 
Now this one was being a pain in the butt, so let's try this one. Everything's falling off my table right now. It would have been nice if I had thought about doing this back when I first made this piece. Anyway. Here we go. Whoop! There goes my screw. And, uh, get the straight edge on it. Try this again at a different angle. Much better. Should have thought of that before. I've got uh, a nice platform now to, to put that other horse on. I need to have enough platform around the sculpture that the mold maker can actually make their mold of this piece, including the base. I've got to figure out how to mount this horse and make it so that I can take him off this. And I think I can see right now how I'm gonna do that. And then I can work on him separately from the other two horses. And uh, then the same thing with this horse. That's why I put it on this little platform here. All right, I'm gonna put a little glue on this uh, board here. This little piece of a board. And I'm gonna place it right down here underneath. clamp it on overnight and that will let's see if I can get this a little bit better than that okay clamp it on overnight that'll keep it from being wobbly and I'll do the same thing on this end uh, with another piece I've got one So that way, when I come down tomorrow, this base should be pretty well solidified and I can work on it. All right, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.